From day one, I, I, you know, I said, I'd like to meet the people. I'd like to be with the people because I'm all about people. Because the more you become available for people, it's the more they love the product, it's the more they want to sell more. Um, the fashion show is, is purely a taking clients, friends, media on a journey of gratitude um, because as a brand we are now 19 years in existence and we are looking forward to our 20 year celebration next year and uh, first of all it's just like literally giving praise and glory unto the Almighty God and uh, also to try to bring people into our world maybe let me say my world. I am very spiritual, I'm a very God-fearing man, I'm God-grounded, everything around me is, is all about God. And, um, and I would say many, many a times we find us as creatives, we detach God from our world. Uh, but I would say for me this journey that we had to take people on is like, Let's show you how God actually does orchestrate our lives because He's the master creator. And I believe on Saturday that was quite evident. Um, the music meeting runway and the colors, the whole um, background, the AV and everything else is just like, let's captivate the audience and tell our own story because most of the times people tell our stories. And this time around was like, we as the house of David Lally, we want to take people on a journey. Being honored and recognized by the Swahili University um, because of the contribution that we've made in the industry and also I believe our journey as the house of David Lally is really humbling, first of all. Um, not many people actually have received. Uh, I believe we are the first to get an honorary doctorate uh, in arts and design, specifically in the fashion industry. Um, it's really, I'd say it's mind-blowing because you never expect these things. Uh, first of all, from the journey of like being nominated, I was told what it means. It's like, okay, I'm not sure what this means. And then I was like, okay, I tried to Google, but Google does not give you the experience what it's going to be. And then um, six months later, and then it was confirmed. I was like, oh wow, fantastic. So now I'm going to become a doctor. But you don't really get to that point until the day of robing, which on Monday, I get into this room, everybody's starting to robe themselves with their regalia. And there I am, I'm being robed as well, like, hey, Batong, this is serious. Um, it was really, really emotional Monday. And um, I'm still taking it in. Um, many people ask me, so where to from here? I don't know. Uh, all, I'm saying, all I know is that I've just been, you know, uh, conferred as an honorary doctor uh, from um, Arts and Design in Swanee University, and it's 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 really really beautiful. Our collaboration with Avon was very was very selective. It was like selective. It was like it was a conscious decision that we made because of what Avon stands for. Avon is all about changing people's lives and touching people's lives from many stories that I've heard and I've, I've already spoken about. The one story that stands out for me is a woman on the side of the road out in Limbopo selling vegetables and like they, they used to call him a tomato because she sold mostly tomatoes and everything and, and other veggies. But this woman from there, she started saving money and then she started se selling Avon. And then from Avon, she started building her own house. She took her kids to school. Uh, she bought herself cars and herself cars. And now she's one of the best sales people in the field. And the story beyond, goes beyond saying she was just selling Avon. It's like with the money that she got, she changed her life. She changed her family life. And today she's a fantastic, she's a fabulous girl. She's like, she's a weird girl and everything else, like literally from humble beginnings. And that story resonated with us as well as a brand, uh, completely from, I mean, from the dusty streets on Fosloras, um, self-made brand. And also what we believe in is touching and changing young, young designers' lives um, with the program called The Intern. 
we bring them forth with their own ideologies or understanding of what the industry is about, but then bring them into the, the business of fashion to say, this is what we do here as a business and this is what the industry is about. Lo and behold, we've trained over 382 designers over the period of about 10 years. We have, um, we have like launched, not us, but the designers launched themselves into the industry, uh, like the looks of, of the likes of Muso Maxwell, Dandongwenya, um, Keletso Muraba, Sindim Fabe, uh, Siposikle Masango, I, I, just to name a few. And these designers, they're running thriving businesses today. And yes, they had their own background, we appreciate that. But when they got into the intern by David Lally, they realized the, the, the hard work that goes into building a brand. And today, I meet most of them to say, thank you for that moment that we had with you because it made us realize what we are supposed to do. And, um, and that's what we are, why we, we collaborated with Avon, because we are about changing people's lives, leaving a legacy to say, one day when I'm dead, my time is over on earth. People should remember that there was a brand, David Lale, that actually did A, B, C, and D. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on our social mediums.